Bulls Nation, not too long ago, I made a video about Thaddeus Young and how I believe he's been a key part to the Chicago Bulls, the way that we play, how good he has been, and I gave him the props and the praise that he deserves for that. Well, today I'm going to look at another player, another player that I believe has not gotten enough credit for the Chicago Bulls. And yes, he might not be doing it at the level that Thaddeus Young is consistently, but so far, in my opinion, he has stepped it up for the Chicago Bulls way beyond anybody expected from him. And today, that video is going to be discussing Denzel Valentine and was he worth the risk to re-sign him this season? Without further ado, let's talk about Denzel Valentine in this video video. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video and this time it's going towards Denzel Valentine and his recent performance is getting praised for by me personally. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts about Denzel Valentine is for this season. At the end of the day, this video, it might could potentially be controversial considering everything that's been happening over Denzel's career with the Chicago Bulls. But I think whether you are a Denzel Valentine supporter or you don't want Denzel Valentine to be on this team, I think it's safe to say he has been fairly decent for the Chicago Bulls this season. And again, it is something that I really want to praise considering that we took a chance on him. And so far, it is starting to look that that chance was worth the risk with Denzel Valentine. Now again, if you look at the stats, they're very similar. It's actually not really different at all, but it's 8.6 points per game, 3.7 rebounds, 1.7 assists. Overall, it seems like he's taken a, a step up from last season and pretty much his entire career with the Chicago Bulls. But I want to talk about Denzel Valentine in another manner. The stats, at the end of the day, the stats are better, but it's not just the stats, it's the consistency of his performances. In my opinion, Denzel Valentine was a player that always suffered from inconsistency. He's a player that could always find a way to get so much praise from the Chicago Bulls and disappointment the next game. And I'm not sure about you guys, maybe you guys disagree with me, but I think for the most part, we have failed to see that inconsistency this season. We have not seen that inconsistency this season. I think he stepped it up in that retrospect, and that is something that I'm very happy to see. At the end of the day, he was a player that started two of the last three games for the Chicago Bulls, and he has been the one to step up, I, in my opinion, more than anybody on this team when he was in that starting lineup. And not only that, on the bench, he's been a massive, massive, massive helper on the offense, always finding the right pass, always making the right shot. At the end of the day, we all know that Denzel Valentine is a fantastic scorer. He is a scorer of the ball. He's not athletic. He's not necessarily a good defensive player, despite his massive attempts on defense. But he is a player that knows how to score. And we are seeing very good scoring out of Denzel Valentine over recent games, which is why I want to give him that praise. At the end of the day, I can't predict how Denzel Valentine is going to end his career. I can't predict if he's going to stay in Chicago next season. I can't predict if the Chicago Bulls are wanting to give him another chance after this season. But I feel like, personally, when players are playing well, I want to give them that praise. And not necessarily a Zach Levine type player because you expect him to play well constantly. But players like Denzel Valentine, where we're just unsure about him, where we don't know if we're going to see consistency, we don't know how well he's going to do with Chicago, or some people may have lost faith with him. In my opinion, these are the things where I look at and I say, he is doing a lot better than what people expected. So that's where my praise goes. Also a fun fact, Denzel Valentine has failed to miss a free throw. I'm not sure how not, I'm not sure how many he's taken, but he hasn't missed a free throw just yet in the NBA in the NBA this season. So fair play to Denzel Valentine. But to bring it more to the question of was it worth the risk for Denzel Valentine? Did, did the Chicago Bulls risk work out with Denzel Valentine? If you guys don't know, the risk I'm referring to is that Denzel Valentine earlier in the season, way before the season began actually, said to the Chicago Bulls that he wanted to play here. He wanted to continue his career here and that he felt more comfortable and ready to play than ever. The Chicago Bulls get, gave him that opportunity because at the end of the day, 
When we all thought about Artorias, Billy Donovan, we all thought about this new front office, at least me personally, and I know other people probably said, agreed with me when I said this, but again, there are haters and supporters of Denzel Valentine out there. But I said that Denzel Valentine suits exactly what Billy Donovan, what Artorias type team is made of. A player that can pass the ball, a player that can make the offense, and a team player, and someone that is a very good role player when he's consistent and when he's, on his, when he's in good form. I feel like that was a perfect player for the likes of Artorias with the teams that he built in Denver. I think Denzel Valentine suits that a little bit. So they gave him that chance and that chance was a one, million for, uh, one year $4 million offer with no trade clause, guaranteeing Denzel Valentine that he will stay for the Chicago Bulls the whole season and we will not trade him up unless he wants to leave himself, which is fantastic for the Chicago Bulls to give that faith and that trust in someone. In my opinion, whether the, the answer to that question, was it worth it? In my opinion, the answer was, yes, it is worth it. Now, free agents uh, is a big topic of discussion, something that we've done on this channel multiple times. We talked about Denzel Valentine's risk, and I said personally, Denzel Valentine needs to find that consistency. He's a good player with a lot of talent and a lot of skill. He's not going to be a star player on any team. I think we all know that by now. He's not going to be a player that is going to take the reins of a team. He's not going to be a player that you build your team around. He's just not that guy. But he is a guy that can contribute off of your bench, can maybe give you starters minutes at times and do very, very well. His efficiency this season in every way has gone up from last season, which again, it's fantastic. It's great. And I, I just... I just love to see when players are doing well and people can get that recognition. Obviously, the Bulls are not winning games as much as we would like. Obviously, there's still struggles with other players. Obviously, we still have a lot to talk about in terms of goods and the bads. But I feel like it's important to acknowledge these people, whether my personal opinions about them change or not, whether other people's op opinions about Denzel Valentine change or not. I feel like it's very important to talk about when people are doing well and when people are struggling. And we're going to continue to do that throughout the season. When players struggle, we will talk about it when players do well we will talk about it so i feel like it's necessary and i think more often than not a lot of the praise outside of the chicago bulls goes to zach levine and zach levine only where if you look outside of zach levine there have been players that have stepped up to the occasion a lot more than what anybody could ask or expect from them i think that is young is one of those players i think denzel valentine's one of those players as well this season and there are a few more that we will discuss but denzel valentine the risk was worth it in my opinion at the end of the day it's it's a, it's a very low risk with a chance of high reward. So far, he's showing that he's having one of his best, if not his best season with the Chicago Bulls, coming off of the bench, keeping the likes of Chandler Hutchinson, to be fair, who has been injured for a long time this season, keeping him out of the rotation, keeping players out of that rotation for himself. He's a player that was very reliable when you had the likes of Tomas Saranti out, where you had the likes of Ryan Archie Diakono out, when you have the likes of Chandler Hutchinson out, when you have the likes of Otto Porter out. Most of these players are still out. Archie Diakono is back. No, Saranti is back. A lot of the other players are out. He is the player that came in for Larry Markkinen and he's doing very, very well. He's giving us good minutes. He's giving us good production. And at the end of the day, he's trying his best to allow us to not feel like we've lost so much in that starting lineup. And again, every single time there has been an injury, Denzel Valentine has been there. And I hope that stays the case. And I hope he still continues to be that type of player that's just to come in and play his game and to do well and to exceed expectations from this team. I'm very proud of how Denzel Valentine has taken this opportunity. And whether or not we extend him next season, whether we extend him to multiple years, whether he decides to go out of the NBA, go out of um, the Bulls and go to another team, or whether he doesn't get another NBA offer, which I don't think will happen. I think he will get an NBA offer no matter how this season goes. But all these things... I'm just truly I'm just truly here to say I am very proud of the progress Denzel Valentine has made this season. And I hope this is not the end for him. I hope he doesn't go back to that inconsistent player that can give you 20 than zero. I haven't seen a lot of that this season. I've seen consistently around 10 to 8 points consistently. Maybe sometimes the over and odd 17, 16 points. But so far, 
I think he's doing very, very well for this team. And again, when players do well, it's important to recognize it. So this is a shorter video than my usual ones. But again, it's a video that I believe is very important to make. And I want to talk a little bit more about players that are doing well. But again, with players that do well, are players that come that, that do struggle. So sooner or later, if it continues to struggle, I will have to talk about the likes of Daniel Gafford. Or maybe even when Wendell Carter comes back and Larry Market and, and the injuries that this team has, I will have to make these videos the negative videos the videos that no one wants to see but realize it's important to talk about i will be making those videos as well when time when the time comes but for now this is going to be a day where i feel a bit positive and i feel very happy towards the production of denzel valentine and someone that's been giving us good minutes and someone that's been keeping us in games so i feel like it's important to have that video solely about him and hopefully you guys watch this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video but again if you guys disagree with what I say, if you guys feel Denzel Valentine is not as good as I said that he was this year, at the end of the day, it's all up to the opinions of other people, what they think. Because what they think is probably how they're going to view him the rest of his career. He's, that, he's at that age now. He's 27 years old. There's not real much in terms of development left in Denzel Valentine. Most likely what he's going to be this season and next season is what he's going to be for the rest of his career. So... What you think about him now is probably what you're going to be thinking about him throughout the entirety of his career. So that's what I want to discuss. I want to know what you guys think. And there's no right or wrong answers here. At the end of the day, an opinion is an opinion. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just what you feel. And hopefully, there's a lot of positivity towards Denzel Valentine recently. And that's what I would like to see. But hopefully, we shall see. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy the next one. I believe the next video will be the Chicago Bulls versus Indiana Pacers game reaction and we shall discuss a little bit more about the Bulls then. I mean daily Bulls videos you see a lot for the Chicago Bulls out of me and it's going to continue to be the case. With that being said have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Take care and peace.